We gotta go mow some zombies down, man. Oh, and it corners so good. I miss this thing, man. I'm so happy it's back. Hey, what's up, zombie guys? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What the crap was that? Okay, okay. Everybody's dead. <laughs> oh, man. Death truck home! Hey there folks, Maisie on reporting for duty and today we're playing Unturned on the Gang's server or the Gang Z server and uh, today we're going to try to build the death truck from start to finish on cam so you guys can see exactly how that works. Um, so what I got here is all the stuff to make the six seater vehicle plus a whole bunch of door frames and in here on one of these I've got all kinds of barbed wire, more barbed wire, more barbed wire and we got a locker in this one right here and I've got an extra generator on me, a whole bunch of extra metal. And I modified the front of the base. I made this gate. I didn't know what it was called before. I just made the double doors. And the doors were kind of getting in the way when I was trying to come in and out of my base. And now we don't have to worry about that. Plus, I modified this so it's more flat. And then we've got a wider ramp. So hopefully, there's a tree out of the way. But hopefully, we'll be able to get the death truck down this hill and up in here. Or else, I'm going to have to figure out something else. Um, I don't know. It's I'm not really built in a place for like a really long truck to get up in here. So I think it's going to be kind of difficult pull off anyway i found a place over here that's semi flat to try to build the death truck so we're going to come over in this direction near my ambulances by the way there's more stuff on the ambulance i forgot about that too oh more barbed wire some barbed wire what do we got more barbed wire and some lights then we need the headlights of course and that's it so right here is pretty flat so i think i'm going to try to build it right here so, in order to make the truck vehicle, bam. So, we can make any of these, but we want to make the six-seater. Six-seater makeshift vehicle times one. Boom! We made it. Here it is. And it starts up in the air and it drops down onto the ground like so. Bam! All right. So, is it, you can see, oh, it comes with, I forget that it comes with full, full tank of gas. But that's good because I got to move it. All right. Probably, or is that gonna work? Oh man, I don't know. I may not be able to do this very well unless I am on a flat surface because of the back. But we might be able to pull it off. Man, flat surfaces make life so much easier. So much easier. Anyway, so if you're trying to make the death truck, the first thing that you gotta do, I believe, it's either, you have to either do one or the other first. And I'm going through the fumbling process with you guys because I think it's important so the first thing you got to do is put on the front or the first door i'm not sure which one we want to leave the bumper we're trying to make this as straight as possible that's it right there boom front of the truck that's definitely the front of the truck now the question is going to be um home there we go can we put on the first door or do we have to do it in the opposite order? Aha, you see, you see, I knew there was something about this. And if you, see, if you look, stuff's not going on where it's supposed to go. It's, it's trying to clip or do something with this. So we needed to eye last time the best place to put this. And if you can see right here, we just need to come in just past the wheel. So we're gonna pick up this piece here and then we should be able to put down one after the other, and it shouldn't be a problem at all. So let's try to do this here. Bam! No, there's something weird going on here. Something weird is going on. As you can see, they're not, it's not, they're not lining up where they're supposed to. Did I not make the right frame? Is it supposed to be door frame? You know what? I made the wrong frames. Good thing I harvested some extra metal, huh? Um, so we have to put this thing on here somewhere and to line it up I kind of bring it before the tires and look at how much is the wheel is being covered on either side and try to make it even and then we can back it up to where it should be and I think I think it needs to come up past the wheel a little bit like that but that should be pretty good right there now it's really difficult to make sure you line all of these up perfectly straight it's not going to be an easy task at all so now we should be able to put this wherever we want it ever we want it 
the unfortunate part is that I think I'm going to have to go out and get some more metal now. Because I did mess up and I made garage frames instead of door frames by accident. That's a little bit too far to the right. And so making these perfect is like super, super difficult. It is a super pain in the butt. And now that's too far to the left. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you do, can't line it up exactly right. That's pretty close. Pretty close right there. So you've got the front of the truck. Oh man, you know what? That door frame, that should be good. I don't know, man. I feel like it should be back farther. Yeah, it should be back farther. Wrap. Like I said, start to finish. We're going to do this thing together. So I got to go ahead and remove it. And this is the same process you're going to go through. It's exactly the same crap. You're going to be like, oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do that. Oh, I have to place this before that thing. Oh, this thing won't work before that thing. Oh, man, this is got to do it all over. It's wicked fun. Tell you what. I tell you what. Whip. It's getting dark in the game, man. That's not going to be good. That's bad for business. So we had just a little bit in the front. I think what we're going to have to do is go into the tires. A ways, actually. So we want to make sure that we have it lined up good first. I like so. Something like that. It's not quite how I want it, I don't think. We go back about that far. That should be fine. Did we get it? Did we get it? Oh, that's pretty good, man. I'm just gonna put it right there. Right there. Perfect. Now we've got it sticking out more. Like we got side windows. It's good. It's good. It's good. So now from here, the task is gonna be lining up all the back door frames perfectly. Which is a super poo super duper pooper pain in the scoop pooper scooper. It's a super pain. It's a pain in the butt. Really, really bad pain in the butt. Um, this is probably the most lengthy process of building this vehicle, especially when you're trying to line up everything exactly perfecto. Because you can see that one is entering the other at some point. That's pretty close, man. Oh, see, it's off. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So that's just not going to fly. I don't need to have it perfect, but they have to be at least touching. You know what I mean? And I thought about other ways of variating the death truck build, but I think what we're going to do is we're going to have two separate vehicles this season. One for looting and one for killing. So this is the killing vehicle. And that, that right there. And that's pretty good. That should be it. Yup. Pretty good. See it best from up top. It veers off to the left a little bit. So we want it to not do that. Unfortunately, the dark is gonna come soon and I don't think I'm gonna do all this work under light. Hey, look at that. That makes things easier to see. For sure. Let's try to line it up to the frame of the car. And then bring it forward. See if we can fix that zigzag. I don't know if we can. Not like that. Man. It's an awful big pain in the butt. Super pain in the butt. Oh, that's that's close right there. To bring it forward. Oh, you can see if you go left and right how far it's extending through. Something like that will do it, I bet. Do we veer again? I think, I think we're straightening out. I think we're straightening out. Scotty. Shawshank Redemption. Shaka Khan. Shilla bing, bing gong. Or something. I can't even remember what that's from. It's from a movie. So if you look down here, you can see that how far it's going through each tire. And that's kind of going to help you. Every time you get to a tire... You can kind of see how to fix your errors. Oh, that's not quite right. That's pretty close. Oh, 
Oh man. Oh man. I don't know, man. I don't think that's gonna be right. No, it's not right. That's that's too far off. It's too far off. The death truck last season wasn't uh, wasn't perfect either, but we definitely definitely had an easier time building it. Now the sun's going down and it's really hard to see. So I think what it's gonna make this process easier is not having to use a flashlight, not using nighttime. So I'm gonna go and collect some more metal since we goofed and made uh, metal garage frames instead of door frames, and then we'll be back to finish up the build. All right, I decided to work on this in the dark because the basic principles are the same. Basically, what I'm doing is moving left and right to see where it pops through, trying to make it as straight as possible by lining it up with the wheels. If you can see the wheels here, just trying to make it as straight as possible. And then instead of going anywhere or changing anything, I'm just backing up and then trying to slip the next piece into place. Now, if I keep doing it like this, it should be a better off. In the end make sure that this is popping through oh man pretty close and I don't want to I don't want to go look because I don't want to mess my spot up I want to be able to continue doing it right here where it looks like it's pretty good and then go back all the way, but we're missing a key piece we'll have to fix at the end, which is the back plate that extends the truck. Oh man, that's gonna have to go this way. Every little movement makes so much difference. But if you look, this is pretty straight. I know I said I wasn't gonna do this, but it's pretty straight. It's getting to, getting to look like the death truck from last season. It's getting pretty awesome. So, let's try to get this, black, this, this back plate on. Now, I don't think I have the plate out here with me. I do not. But I've got so many plates that I'm not going to make another one over here. Uh, it wouldn't make any sense for me to do so. Oh, man, I also need some food. Well, I better get some food, and we'll go back and finish that up. Okay, so before we build this thing out the rest of the way, we got to get this back plate on, which is bent, which is the worst part. It was the absolute worst part of building this the first time. Going to be quite honest with you. See what it does? First, it starts on the ground, right? And you go all the way into the vehicle. Then it pops up one. Bam. And then if you go forward again, it pops up again. Bam. And that's where you want it. Because this one isn't right this one isn't right this one right here this is your guy so we're too far onto one side so you gotta kind of shimmy shimmy yourself shimmy yourself around a little bit get yourself as straight as possible pretty close man it's pretty close so then you gotta right click and then you have to try to make it as flat as possible. And this is where it gets really wonky because it's hard to see what is flat in comparison to the vehicle. And so oftentimes what happens is you're either up too far or down too far. Oh man, you know what? I think that's good. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad that we don't have to do that more times. Oh my God. The first time that was a super duper pooper pain in the butt. Oh crap. I forgot when I turn my hut off to turn it back on. Alright, I need a little a little bit of a drink here. Alright, so now we're gonna get back to these door frames. And this is gonna get more difficult because we're gonna have to stop standing on the seats very soon. Very, very soon. That actually looks good, man. I think we got lucky. I'm getting super lucky here. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yup. Oh man, we're almost done with this part. This is the most grueling part of the whole thing. I'm gonna make sure that this all looks right, feels right, happy with, etc. You can see the tires. That's what I'm going by right now is a mixture of 
where this is popping through the wall and the tires. That's pretty good, man. Man, so this thing actually comes back all the way to this back plate. And you can see the ground through the inside of the truck, but no one ever sits on the inside of the truck, so no one cares. Nobody cares that you can see the crowd when you're on the inside. Oh, man. All right. All right. Oh, but, but, but. It's a little bit too far. You know what? This is a little bit to the left. That is going to have to be okay. We're going to have to be okay with that. It's not perfect. Get over it, Mazion. It wasn't perfect the first time either. It's really, really hard to do makeshift building and get it to look perfect. It's really, really, really difficult. It won't go through me. Well, that's too bad. So now I'm going to try to line this up with the rear as best as possible. The very final one. That's pretty good. I don't think it's touching on the... No, it is. It's touching on both sides. All right. Well, let's go in. Try that. All right. So that's all the way to the back for the... Oh, no. See, look. We messed up. Crap. Crap. So the last three are not, not a go. See? And this is the stuff you're going to run into. It's going to happen to you. I promise. Promise straight up that this is going to happen to you. There's no way to get around it. There's going to be issues. When you're trying to build one of these makeshift things, you're going to have to take stuff off and put stuff back on. You have to do it over and over again until you're satisfied. But, I mean, obviously, in this particular case, we can't leave a gap in the truck. It looks stupid. Who wants to have a stupid-looking truck? I don't want to have a stupid-looking truck. I want to have a death-looking truck. I want to look like death. Oh, man. I feel like something's off with like maybe where I'm standing. No, definitely. Definitely not right. And I can't stand in it. All right. It's pretty close. No, it's not. That's bad. That's bad, okay? Let's see what I did. Let's see why this is happening. Truck looks okay. We look at the tires. It doesn't seem like the tires are much bigger in the front or than in the back or one side than the other. It looks like maybe I'm just really screwing up right here. Truck looks pretty straight. Oh, this last one right here, this very last one, I went sideways on. So it's not actually the one that we're trying to place. It's the one before that. Everything is straight all the way back until this particular one. And so that means we have to try to fix this one. Oh man, what a pain in the Burt. Super Burt pain. He's a super Burt, super Burt, super Burt pain. Wow. All right, so trying to get this thing. All right, no, we're off, we're off. Try to fix that. That is pretty close, I think. I think we're getting closer here. The left and right sides look good. The tires look good. Let's see. Is that, is that straight? That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. So now if we can get the rest of these going, after this, the process is much, much easier. This is just the pain in the butt part. This is the pain in the butt. The, the not as fun, my truck doesn't look amazingly deathy part. What the crap? Yeah, everything looks fine. Except for what I'm doing right now. Um, oh, you know what? That plate is off. That plate is off, so we cannot use the plate to go by, which is fine. It doesn't matter that the plate is off because you never ever see it. Um, what matters is that we're straight out back here. We go left, right, left, right, left, right. All right, let's try that. Oh no. Oh no. Something's wrong. Something's wrong here. Oh, you know what? You know what's wrong? I think it's popped down a little bit. No, it didn't. Did it pop up a little bit? 
Yeah, that's what happened. It's popped up a little bit. Oh, look. See right there, you can see it. And this one, that one. This one, that one. I wonder why it did that. Let's see what happens with this one. If it pops back up or down, or maybe it's this plate. Maybe this plate is making the issue. But, you know, I think I'm going to call it call it good either way. Once we cover this thing in uh, in barbed wire, it's no one's going to notice. I might notice, but no one else will. Nobody else cares, Mazion. All right, here it is. That's it right there. And the final piece, hopefully, hopefully the final piece, holy crap. Yeah, man, that's so close. I'm trying to get it. Oh, that's not right. All right. We don't have anything to line up off of anymore. We're totally freehanding it, and that's going to make it even more painful. Even more painful. Let's try it. Let's try it. All right, so it has a little bit of a hump at the back there, but I'm not sure that we can do anything to fix that now. But that is the frame of the death truck. That's how the frame of the death truck works. Man, I'm so glad that that part's over. It is such a pain in the butt, like super butt pain. And then the rest of this stuff is all playing around, having fun. That's all that's left here. Um, I don't want to put that in there. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. Give me that. And then I'm going to need more. I think I've got a lot of barbed wire on me. I'm going to need more, though. And let's take the headlights. We'll have to get that done, too. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Here we go. So let's get the headlights on there. Makes a, any good death truck amazing. Bam. Whip. <laughs> that looks good. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. In exactly the same spot. Don't move your mouse, Maisie. I only move your... Oh, crap. So such a pain. To get it where it needs to be. Oh, I shouldn't have moved back. Moving back is... Oh, I didn't mean to place it. Oh, man. He's got... It's like lazy eye. It's got lazy eye. My lazy eye truck. All right, right there, we've got a little bit of a bar. We'll do the same thing over here, just a little bit of a bar. Pretty good, man, it's pretty good. All right, barbed wire. Got to any good death truck has to have barbed wire. And I think what we're gonna do this time is split down the middle and have two. Like a moustache. Like a moustache coming off of the death truck. You ordered my death truck moustache. Like that. And so it's very hard to access the death truck when you want to get in. Um, definitely had a great time with that last season. <laughs> Should be able to put this stuff right down the wheels. Right down the side of the truck. This part you don't have to be so picky with. Just make barbed wire attach pretty close. And it will... Go all the way down to the back. Now, how do we access it? That's the question. Can we access you here? Yes. So right there, you can access the vehicle. Not a huge deal. And I think up here, we're actually going to start out farther with the barbed wire. I want this death truck to be really deathy this season. Much more deathy than before. And I've got so much barbed wire. All right. So we actually don't do the same thing on the rear. Uh, the rear you're going to leave so that you don't let your friends kill themselves. It's a, it's a preventative measure to stop, you know, help friends from being stupid. Friends don't let friends stupidly kill themselves on the death truck. 
Oh man. Having a having an issue. Did I not symmetric did I not make this symmetrical? Oh, I started the lower one farther back on that side. It's alright. It's alright. Don't matter. It don't matter. Alright, so. I mean basically all you're doing at this point, which is the easy part, is Putting the barbed wire all around your vehicle, all the way to the top. You know, you're gonna go up here under the door, but then when you get get back to the window, you're gonna go all the way up in that way. And I'm gonna signature by. Holy crap, that was scary. You guys hear that? That was part of a commercial from a web browser window that was been open for like hours. Don't you hate when that happens, man? So anyway, point is, is I've got all kinds of barbed wire to finish this guy up with. And I'm going to show you what I do with this instead of make you go through the, you know, placing a hundred barbed wire. All right. So I got all of the barbed wire. I think I'm going to leave this stuff on the top open for options. Like if I decide to do anything else with makeshift stuff or stuff that'll go on there, nothing's really going to be up there that would hit it anyway. So I think that this low to the ground is really good for this stuff. So what I'm going to do now is put the door on, but I'm not going to put anything else inside the vehicle before I do put the door on. It needs to go... Oh man, it needs to go in the last slot. But it needs to, see if I do it here like this, it can go on the last slot, but then the door opens in. I want the door to open out. So if I want to do that, I have to, I don't think I can. I did it in the last, the last time we did this. I think I can. Can't get it to go there. Crap, it's gonna have to go in. Got the door in there. Where? Hopefully, hopefully we're going to open that, close that door pretty easily. I have all my stuff on me. So the generator needs to go on one side in the back. And the storage goes on the other. And I'll show you why in just a sec. So we'll put the generator on the side the door's on. It's going to be such a pain. This is why I don't want the door to go in. It does not need to look perfect. And then the locker needs to go on the other side. The reason is you have to be able to turn the generator on and off. And if you have the locker on the way, you can't do that. All right, so that's it, guys. That's the death truck. That's how you build the thing. If you want a death truck, that's the way to go. Um, now we need, let me see what we got here. First of all, give me some of this. Take, 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 take. All this has gas in it. Most of it has gas in it. So hopefully I should be able to, from here, fill that thing up. And it can. That's one of the disadvantages of a vehicle like this is you have to fill it up twice. What the crap, right? Let's go for a drive. Oh man, death truck is active. No honking though. Oh, feels so good to be home. Back where I belong, inside the death truck. You can never see unless you're above it, but you know. Oh man, this drives even better than the ambulance. It's so funny. It drives way better than the ambulance. Oh, we gotta go mow some zombies down, man. Oh, and it corners so good. I miss this thing, man. I'm so happy it's back. Hey, what's up, zombie guys? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What the crap was that? Okay, okay. Everybody's dead. <laughs> oh, man. Death truck. Oh. Oh. Round two. Oh, crap. That's now you're dead. And you're, now you're dead. And then you. And, and then you're all dead. Sweet. Things get stuck on your barbed wire. Oh man, corner's so good. It's so weird that it corners so well. Where are you guys going? Oh man, it's stuck on that thing. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Oh crap, that probably wasn't good. Now he's gonna get on the death truck and start, oh, well, I guess he's just gonna die instead. So now we have to, test and see if we can get this into the house that's gonna be the next big test oh man i love this truck it just goes over everything they they work so good 
In comparison to the ambulance, it bounces around everywhere. But now we gotta see if we can get this giant long truck into the base. Before we do that, I need to get stuff. Oh, no, e brake. I need to get stuff. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is another problem you're gonna run into. Oh man, this is worse than last time. Oh no, I'm like really stuck. Can I crouch? All right. So usually if you get stuck in the truck, you just try again. Oh man. You can get out, Mazion. Pop, pop, jump, crouch. Oh man. So this is a problem. This I never had this problem in the last death truck. What the crap is going on, man? Oh man. Enter your makeshift vehicle. Level out makeshift vehicle. Get out of makeshift vehicle. Oh, you see how it's how we're almost like on top? That's what we want. That's what we want. Can I get out from the back? Let me out. Let me out. I think I'm gonna get out. Oh man, I made it out. So I didn't have that problem in the last death truck. Lay down, crawl, get up, fixed. All right, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I didn't have that problem in the last one. In the last one, it just popped me right up out of the, right out of the top, like a Christmas present. Like Marilyn Monroe out of a cake. Am I gonna be able to get the toiler out? Gotta get the toiler out. All right, toilers out. Sweet. Oh man, that ramp is way better than the last one. I like this so much. Hopefully, it means that the truck will go in. Gotta get out the ATV. All right, can the death truck go inside? Can you go inside? All right. Moment of truthedness. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, we're stuck. Oh no, oh no. All right, and then we're gonna have this problem again. All right, so maybe you shouldn't build the death truck. I can't believe that it doesn't work the same way as it did last season. Holy debacle. It's a debacle taco. Wait, I'm moving, I'm moving. All right, all right. So for the time being, I'm thinking that the death truck needs to not, not be anywhere. Can I get out of the top? Oh no. Oh no. I wonder what would happen if we got an actually flat surface with this thing. Maybe we would actually get out of the top. We should find out. I never had that problem last season where I couldn't get out of the thing. It's really weird. We need to find a road. I guess the train track I'll have to do. All right, so just out of the top, amazing. And you just fix yourself with a little crouchy crouch. So it looks like that's probably not gonna happen all the time, but I'm just gonna keep my fingers crossed every time we take the truck out that we're gonna be okay. But hey, I'm super psyched about it. I'm still super psyched about having the death truck back. It's awesome. I just need to find a way to park it at the base. Like, make some sort of ramp that goes from here all the way over to that rock, and then it'll just be parked on the rock. And we want to leave, we gotta back out on that ramp. I'm gonna figure that out for next episode. For now, I'm gonna have to park it somewhere. You know, I'll park it right where someone stole the plane. Probably the best and safest place to uh, park it. Right where someone stole something else from me. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, oh no, oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Oh no, it's so bad. Don't get out of the death truck when it's on a slant. It's bad news bears for you. Don't ever do that. All right, so we got to build a new garage. We got the death truck rebuilt. Having some trouble getting out of it for some reason. Didn't have that problem last season. But if you want to rebuild something like this, this is how you do it with the door frames, the metal door frames. Hope you guys liked today's episode. If you did, make sure you blast the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Amazing On Plays Games. And as always, be excellent to each other. Have a great day. See you later.